If you're interested in trading with BetAngel, then visit our website where you can download a free trial of BetAngel Professional and BetAngel Trader. If you want to learn how to use them, then visit the Academy where we give you a detailed, structured walkthrough of each product. And if you're an existing user, then head on over to the forum where we have a load of files for you to download to customize and use within BetAngel. So if you're using BetAngel version 156 or above, there's a whole range of new features that we've introduced since the last version. And I'm going to focus specifically on one here, which is to do with an enhancement that we've now made to Guardian. Now, if you're not familiar with Guardian, uh, the concept is fairly simple. And that is that you have a container in the middle of the screen here where you load all of your markets into Guardian, and then you can do all sorts of weird, wonderful and clever things with them. Um, I shall highlight a few of those for you. When you bring in the markets, you can actually use filters. You can import and export filters from the forum, create your own, and that allows you to find all of the markets that you want very, very quickly. You can also create coupons, which is basically a multiple clickable area um, of related markets. Um, I'm not going to explain that. I've done videos on that before. But basically, once you've got the information that you need, you can put it in to Guardian and then start working on it from there. There are specific features here for racing and for football. Once you have your markets uh, within Guardian, you can then do clever things like link them to Excel so that it's actually possible if you want to, to link all of these markets into one workbook or just one of them, or you can do all sorts of clever things like that. You can create automation. Um, and I mean, again, tons of videos on that. Put them into a watch list. Basically, Guardian is a piece of software in its own right. It can run independently of what you're doing on the main screen on BetAngel, and it can even run in the background. So you can have it doing stuff on a different market while you're trading one market, um, or you could just use it as a tool unto itself to do its own thing. But if you look at our main product, one of the things uh, that you would have noticed is on the one-click screen, you can completely customize it. You can create custom columns that allow you to pull in information or use the custom columns as a way of placing a position into the market. And if you actually look at uh, that uh, facility, it creates a huge amount of flexibility. And you can do a similar thing on the ladder. If you go to the ladder, you can put in additional information. You can put in markers and display information on the ladder, which you can then act on. Uh, both those screens have significant amounts of customization, and we have brought that customization uh, to Guardian. So you've always been able to do simple things such as grab um, a, head, a column header and move it around. I think that's pretty basic and something that you would expect. But the first thing uh, that you will notice um, on Guardian and in, if you're using version 156 or higher is there's a thing there that says list. So if I click on that, you will see that this reveals uh, a range of other options that you have available to you within this tool. So the first one is the layout, because if you are looking at football markets or horse racing or tennis or whatever you want to, you want to create a layout specific to that. So you can actually create a layout, alter the screen as much as you like, and then you can import, export um, and save that as you wish. So I'm going to call this one default for the moment. That will appear in a drop down box and then you can have one for each individual sport or trading style. But you'll also notice that next to it we have this um, thing here that says custom columns. So we have now introduced custom columns uh, to within Guardian. So each one of these columns can be defined according to exactly what you want. And that includes information about the market, information about selection within the market. Uh, you can pull in automation um, or stored values. So you could store information about something and then echo it back on your Guardian screen. It massively increases the flexibility of what you can do. And to bring in a column into Guardian, all that you need to do is click on the column chooser here, and then you can actually pull in individual columns. So you can see here, we've got some for alerts. So you could have Guardian churning away, looking for opportunities and then flagging that there's a, an opportunity for you. We have automated uh, or the automation nominated selection. So basically when you put automation into a market, you can say, I want you to automate something, but on this particular runner. And um, what we've actually done here is we've expanded the range of nominated selections uh, from two to five. So you can actually have five individual nominations within a market. But you can also see we've expanded 
the number of automation rules that you can have as well. So you can now have five automation rules running on one market. You heard me right. You can actually run multiple different rules of automation in the one market. It makes it incredibly powerful. But you can also see here we've got custom columns and there's some additional columns that we've added in to the mix here, including this one, notes, that you may want to explore. Um, but basically you can add all of those columns into Guardian and then when you've got the, it set up exactly the way that you want, then obviously you can actually save it as a layout, calling it whatever you wish. But the real power comes when you choose the thing here um, that says edit custom columns, because this allows you to define exactly what each one of these columns are. So if I click on the edit custom columns area, it will bring up that particular tool and you can see that there are some options within here. So the custom profiles are pretty much the same as you see with the layout. This means that you could create column profiles within the custom layout. So basically you could say, I want custom columns for football, for tennis, for racing, you know, all of those different things that you so wish. We're just gonna leave it uh, default at this particular moment in time. We're not gonna go sort of any deeper than that. But what we will do is have a look at uh, the individual custom columns. Uh, you can see that there are 10 of them. You can actually add more if you wish by clicking um, on the plus five over there. And you would obviously have to name your custom column because you need to uh, put up here, um, you know, exactly what the custom column does. We'll do that in a second. And there's a tool tip as well. So when you hover over the custom column, it gives you a hint as to what this custom column does. So I'm just gonna put on here, Oops, this is a tool tip. That's all we're gonna say for this particular moment in time. Then we have to tell it exactly what we want it to display. So here you can see it can display the market information. So the market information could be the betting delay, um, any of the things that you see on the screen in front of you here. A selections information could be the back price uh, or a variety of other bits of information that you so wish. But you can also see you've got shared and stored values. So the concept there being that you can actually create a piece of automation to push a value, whatever that value may be, or however you may wish to calculate it, or whether it's a current or a historic value, into Guardian. So you can display all of the information um, on all of the uh, data that you so wish it can be displayed right in front of you on Guardian. So it could be looking for certain bits of information. It could be... Um, you could do pretty much anything basically and use it however you wish but that's why we've put the stored values in there so that it can give you that level of flexibility. I'm going to do something on a selections information here. So basically if I put in here selections information I'm going to choose uh, the back price and we're going to say order of favoritism one so we're basically going to put the price of the favorite in. So I'm going to nickname this column PF for the price of favorite and then you can do uh, sort of the nice things such as have a certain color on it and so on, depending upon how you want to highlight it. And then if we save that column, that will actually be saved as a uh, custom column PF. And if I close this and we go to the column picker, then we can actually choose that particular column. So you can see column PF appears over here, and then we can actually drag and drop that to wherever we wish uh, on the screen. So if I just put that here and we'll just edit that column there. And then because I'm looking at horse racing markets, if I do save as and do this as horse racing, and you can see we've actually added that custom column uh, to within Guardian. And then if I want to, I can go in and create another custom column. So we could pick on custom column two. We could display uh, perhaps the market information related to whatever we wish. It could be the bet delay, which would be particularly useful on football, for example. Um, it could be uh, on the selection information, we could choose to put, uh, I don't know, there's so many options. Where you see this um, best displayed is if you actually use a piece of automation to push data into there. But I'm just going to call this one um, HTP for high traded price. We're going to save that as a column. We're not going to do anything um, amazing or clever with that. Um, I will get that from the the chooser and there you can see the highest traded price there. 
And so the favourite uh, in the last race uh, would appear. Actually, did, did I define what? Um, I can't remember if I defined whether it was the favourite or not on that. But um, the highest traded price in that particular market uh, was 590. I'd have to go back and check. But can you basically see you can do all sorts of clever things. But the real power of the custom columns uh, comes when you use it in conjunction with automation because you can push values into the custom columns and create uh, a completely unique view on the market, delivering information that's most relevant to whatever you're attempting to achieve. But yeah, if you go into Guardian now, you can basically modify um, all of the layout of Guardian. You can add in custom columns. We've got multiple five uh, nominated selections, five automation rules you can apply per market. You can add notes, you can push data in to Guardian, and then you can actually put your own custom columns in there, create your own layouts, and then when you turn up to Guardian, load it up with markets, you can basically select a layout that is absolutely perfect for what you're attempting to do. But if you're on version 156 or higher on BetAngel, go to Guardian, click on the list menu item, uh, and all of those wonderful things are available for you to have a play with. So yeah, I hope you enjoy that. It's a quick overview of some of the things that you can do. I'll probably do a few more videos that will uh, show you a few more clever things that you can do. But if you head on over to the forum, we have actually uploaded um, some samples for you. And if you want to bring those in, you've got import and export buttons that will allow you to do that and have a good play around with this new feature.